The ghost drone. So called because when approaching a target, the drone can work out how noisy it sounds and what its profile looks like from the target's point of view. The operator can push it back to the point where it can't be heard by the target. You could be anywhere in the world, as long as you can get a, a telephone signal, you could fly this bit of kit. So you could have somebody in a bunker, in, for example, in North Holt, uh, flying this drone at Akateri. With its single rotor design, it can take off vertically and land in confined spaces. This remotely piloted aircraft system is a game changer. It can fly for up to 55 minutes and has a range of around 12 kilometers, operating in temperatures as cold as minus 40 degrees Celsius at an altitude of 12,000 feet. The Ghost weighs around 17 kilos and it's used to detect and track targets useful for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, or ISR as it's known. It's a lot more flexible. Uh, we can put an eye in the sky pretty much anywhere, um, whereas before it'd either take uh, a boat, um, a full-scale helicopter, um, and this obviously replaces both of those. For it to cover a, a two-kilometre frontage, it could do that in about 10 minutes. If you were to put two guys in a vehicle and have them drive down there, you're talking up to about an hour or so. Some of the algorithms that this um, piece of equipment runs means it, it can do the job of a number of different people all in one go, so it's constantly searching for those things that it thinks are a threat. We've got a daylight camera, we've also got a thermal camera, um, so it can identify uh, the human form out to around about 500 metres um, at night time, so it's very good at picking up the heat from the human body. It's been trialled by the RAF Regiment, the Royal Marines and the US Army Experimentation Force, to name a few. Sophie Kakuyanis, Forces News, RAF Akrotiri. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.